We're obviously extremely excited to uh, start racing from Wednesday onward in this uh, fantastic Optus Aquatic Center. Uh, it's really a privilege as well uh, because it's not only a test event for the event itself, but it's truly a test event for us. Our trials, so um, we're looking to select a very strong team here uh, during the four days of, uh, of racing for the, for the Commonwealth Games. It's also the first time we're trialing with uh, five weeks out uh, before the actual major event. And uh, it's truly going to be exciting. All the team will be there without any exemption. It's also great to see that uh, all of our elite athletes, uh, together with their coaches, have worked very hard, uh, specifically over the last six months, but uh, the years before that as well. Uh, to make these trials uh, and after that of course Commonwealth Games an incredible success so thank you very much and uh, look forward to uh, to racing yes that's definitely why we uh, why we did it uh, we wanted to select our athletes closer to the meet uh, so that they can actually capitalize and benefit from the the form and shape they're already in um, it's obviously the first time, uh, but definitely a proven concept uh, that, that has worked uh, in the past. Uh, three years ago or four years ago, I must say, uh, in between Commonwealth Games and Pampex here uh, at this same venue as well. Uh, we had four weeks as well and uh, that actually worked out brilliantly. So, uh, yeah, I have no doubt it will succeed. Um, well, of course, at the end of the day, uh, it's all about a, and a major tournament. It's all about the shape of the day, how you arrive there. Uh, but first things first, people need to qualify first. It will be very, very strong competition. As I said, nobody is uh, missing from the entry uh, list. Uh, so that gives us um, uh, really exciting races. Um, uh, it's, it's really good that for Commonwealth Games you can select three per nation on each event. That's something we're usually not used to. Uh, we, usually we can only select two. So it gives a lot of opportunities for us. Uh, I'm, I'm confident we're going to see some, some surprises and some really, really good performances. Uh, but as always, the aim is to qualify and then even be better here during Commonwealth Games. And I can't think of a better way to dive into the action of the Commonwealth Games than having the national championships right here at our swimming venue. Um, we have 37 days to go to the Commonwealth Games and to think that our elite athletes are going to have the opportunity with this time ahead to not only have the trials here but also have a practice run of what this venue will be like during the Games. Already as you can see around us more than 4,000 seats have been erected so people can come down and cheer their fame their favorite swimmers on you know whether it's going to be Cam McAvoy the Campbell sisters so many great swimmers that are not only great swimmers for our country but also great Queenslanders and Gold Coasters so I say to everyone on the Gold Coast and in Queensland make sure that you come down and cheer your Australian team on you know we have great swimming talent in this country and to think that one of the great honors of having the Commonwealth Games here on the Gold Coast is also to host the national championships just five weeks before the game is really special. So um, gold, gold, gold for the Gold Coast, gold for our Australian team and make sure that we give them the gold that they deserve by coming down here and cheering like gold for our swimming champions. Thank you. Well, our Commonwealth Minister, Honourable Kate Jones and distinguished guests. Wonderful uh, this Wednesday when we start the trials and the national title and uh, the selection for the Commonwealth team itself. Reflecting on that, I was talking to Jaco there, was that um, as much as 70% of the team will come from Queensland. So to Gold Coasters and Queenslanders, come on down and see our homegrown champions um, doing the laps in the world-class pool. Don't worry about the weather, I've got that figured out, it'll be fine. But I'll put it to you, as we march towards the Commonwealth Games, there'll be no prouder moment for the city to shine and that for the rest of the world to come, and my prediction, it'll be goal, goal, goal for the Aussie team. Thank you. Um, thanks for joining us here today. It's a pleasure to be here on behalf of Optus to officially unveil the uh, Optus Aquatic Centre on the Gold Coast. As the official support network for the 2018 Commonwealth Games and principal partner for Swimming Australia and the Australian Dolphins, 
securing the naming rights for the Optus Aquatic Centre uh, is a wonderful opportunity to continue that partnership. As proud supporters of sport in Australia, it's great to be associated with this magnificent venue that will see some of our best athletes uh, in Australia competing to be part of what will be Australia's biggest sporting event this year. Optus will be providing games, communication, infrastructure and managed services to more than 6,500 athletes and officials and 3,500 uh, media that will be attending the Commonwealth Games. It's our infrastructure services that will enable millions of people to view sporting events in real time during the Commonwealth Games. Optus has made a commitment here on the Gold Coast to leave a legacy after the Games. Uh, we've recently announced a $30 million investment which will require 400 sites across the Gold Coast uh, to be upgraded which will be left behind long after the Games. Our network infrastructure at the, uh, the centre itself will be upgraded with 4G so people attending the, the, the Games events will be able to uh, stream images live to family and friends around the world uh, without any interference. We're also excited to be de delivering on the Gold Coast a 5G uh, network uh, trial uh, at, at just down the road at Broadbeach at Currawa Park. Um, this will be a uh, very significant uh, showcasing of what is possible in telecommunications going forward. Um, once again, I'd like to thank Goldock, um, Swimming Australia and the Queensland Government for partnering with uh, Optus and in what I think will be the best Commonwealth Games yet. Uh, and I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, wish well the swimmers that are competing this week and all of the Australian team uh, in the Commonwealth Games. Thank you very much. That's it. That's it. Okay. And this one down here, guys. <laughs> All good? Yeah. Hang on, one guys. Down here. So, see, guys. Give a uh, hand again. Same thing. Down I got you, Kate. I've only a couple of you. <laughs> and a couple of you straight you down the You wouldn't do that to me, Tom. Guys, hang on one second. Thank you. I'm just going to change something here. Up more there, guys. Hey, last one coming up. Beautiful. All right, the black there, just hang on. Thank you.